I was putting maybe this much pressure on it and it was pulling all the way into the handle into the grip so you can see like it's adjusted and fixed now at least I think so everybody what is going on as always thanks for stopping by to check out today's video we are back out on the streets of Philly today on kind of a gloomy uh, morning here the weather hasn't been very great lately very overcast cloudy tons of rain coming in which has been a little frustrating I think the weather has been so bad recently that this might be the least I've ever ridden in a month stretch this month of August that we're wrapping up here or we're just wrapped up probably like the least I've ever ridden ever since I started riding pretty much all due to the weather just like crazy hot humid days and tons of rain just like insane but anyways I wanted to get out this morning we're going to go out on a little coffee run down to Herman's coffee down in South Philly I think we're clear with weather till at least uh, at least like four or five hours or so so wanted to try to squeeze one in get out and about but anyways, the point of today's video is I got something a little wrong with my bike right now. I'm going to need some of you guys out there in YouTube land or the internet world, any of you more motorcycle mechanically climbed guys and gals out there, you're going to listen to this problem I got, how I fixed it a little bit, but it still might be a problem. I'm going to ask a little help from some of y'all out there. So I'm going to go through and tell this little incident about what happened with my clutch over here. And as I'm going through, any of you, anybody that knows what might have happened to this please let me know down in the comments or if this has ever happened to you as well let me know and let me know how you fixed it or if it was like a long-term issue that you had to get looked at a little more seriously so what had happened was I was out cruising around one day out and about with my buddy Joe Philly two wheels you've seen him on his triumph before we're out on some back roads like west of Philly just casual cruising you know because it's kind of some back roads you know we're going second third gear 35 40 45 sometimes 50 just kind of floating around in those ranges and then eventually we get out of some highway and you know we start uh, start picking up the pace a little bit out on the highway starting to ride a little bit more um, uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for a little more spiritedly I guess I would say so so we start cranking it up a little bit get up into fourth fifth and when I went between fourth and fifth something happened when I pulled the clutch in and shifted and got up into fifth gear to where I, I didn't really notice if it made any noise or I felt anything at that point in time but after that my clutch over here just kind of went soft like it went to mush so it went loose like I don't know what happened like you know how when you're riding along you can kind of it takes a little bit of tension and pressure to really pull in that clutch you know most of the time you can like right here look like I'm putting a little tension on it and it's not going anywhere but this day I could literally just press a finger on it and the clutch lever was just totally mush like it was totally soft there was no tension there was no pressure anything like that so I, so I start to notice like okay obviously something's definitely wrong so so we come to a light and the light turns green I'm ready to go and I'm just trying to go as normal and I stall out like there was no friction zone or anything like there was just nothing going on with the clutch now after I stalled out luckily I was able to get it fired back up and I was able to get it going and and we're going along and like I can't quite shift it properly like the bike is just not shifting I can't get the lever to shift it's like I'm pulling in the clutch not getting any feedback from the clutch I'm like all right something is definitely wrong here I definitely got to pull over on the side of the road so we pull over like I said and I'm kind of like looking around like I said the clutch is just like there's just nothing going on in the clutch I can pull it all the way back into the to the grip with literally like no effort at all it's just easily just pulling right into the bar into the grip right here I'm like that's definitely not right so something is definitely like happened when I made that shift up into fourth to fifth something crazy happened it came out of adjustment or something so like I said we're pulled over I'm kind of like messing around with it it's super loose 
I'm thinking, okay, so I could probably look up on YouTube, try to figure this out. So I found a little bit of information on YouTube, you know, thinking probably the clutch is something happened. It came loose. It's out of adjustment or something. So I look up a little bit of a way to kind of adjust it. I'm going to hop off the bike right now and show you kind of what I did to adjust it and what I found through another YouTube video on kind of how to fix it at that point in time. All right, so like I said, I wanted to pull over real quick, just kind of show you what happened when I did that, see if anybody has any answers as to what happened. So, like I said, I started I started messing around with the clutch here, super loose. Like, I was putting maybe this much pressure on it, and it was pulling all the way into the handle, into the grip. So you can see, like, it's adjusted and fixed now, at least I think so. It takes a little bit more pressure, obviously, to pull it in. But when this happened, when we had pulled over, I'm looking at this thing, it's like almost dangling right here. Like it's not tight like this at all. So like literally no pressure to pull it in. Didn't feel like I was getting any feedback from it while I was riding and I was having those shifting problems. So like I said, if anybody knows what was going on with that, drop it down in the comments for me. Let me know kind of what you think of what was going on there, if anybody knows. So like I said, I looked up a little YouTube video real quick on the side of the road. Had some tools over in my side, side bag there. Good thing I had those. So I'm looking around right here. So basically, had to break this nut loose here. And here's your clutch adjustment. Twist it down to tighten it up. Twist it up to loosen it. And what they were saying was, you wanted about an eighth of an inch of free play up here on the clutch. So you can see they were saying once you put tension on it, you should have maybe an eighth of an inch of free play when you push it back and forth right here. So we're still at about an eighth of an inch right here. But the day that this happened and it was all loose, there was probably almost a half an inch of free play. I was putting tension on it. This thing was moving around all over the place. So like I said, came down here, broke this knot off here, loosened it up, twisted it down, tightened it up to where we had about that eighth inch of free play right here. So we're still in there, still looks good. So everything's been riding good as of now um, since that happened and since I adjusted it. But my question to everybody out there is, is there a bigger issue that I need to have looked into by a shop or a mechanic or anything? Anything actually going on inside of there? Like I said, it feels good for now. Had a couple rides so far, nothing has happened. That hasn't happened again. But let me know what that issue could be if you think I should have it into a shop at some point. Definitely would appreciate that information from anybody. And anybody who's ever had this happen to them too, of course, drop it down there in the comments and let me know what happened, how you fixed it, what happened long term with that. So that's my little story about the clutch, what happened there while I was riding, how I hopped off and kind of fixed it, tightened it up. It seems like it came out. Seems like it's good now after that adjustment. So yeah, let's hop back on the bike and wrap this one up. So yeah, that's the little story of a little clutch issue I had that one day. Kind of freaked me out when it happened. I was glad I could get it adjusted and fixed up on the fly, but again, I'm wondering if I should get it into a shop. Wonder if there's like a long-term bigger issue that I should have taken care of or looked at. Appreciate any insights or any feedback from anybody out there, any of you mechanics out there, drop it in the comments. Let me know if you have any feedback on that or if this has ever happened to you. Of course, give me some insight into what happened there and how you fixed it. So yeah, that's gonna wrap that one up for now. A little story about the clutch. As I said, drop it down there, give me some insights into what be going on with that thing in there, man. Um, but yeah, we're going to finish up this little scoot through South Philly right now. As always, if you like riding around, talking bikes, talking motorcycles, checking out Philly, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop those comments down there. As always, we'll catch you on the next one. Make it a good one. It's the Moto John. We'll see you all on down the road. Peace.